Hello everyone. It's time for another uh let's see. Where's my volume? There it is. Okay. Um another visual novel. Uh today's Hylian 2, Hands of Fate. Uh if you were here last week, uh you watched me get through the ending of the first Hylian game. And uh based on that cover image, it looks like we're just kinda starting where we left off last time. So, um, just give me a sec to finish setting up, and then we can, uh, we can find out what happens next, as we're stranded on an island. Okay. It sounds like we might have a little bit more um, music than last time, uh, or at least a music loop. And just based on oh feet, uh, based on uh, what was it? I don't remember. No, we just get water and then it stopped. Guess so. What, what's the... Oh, is that quests? Okay. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's how they make any of the three endings are... Right. Uh, work. Uh, you just imagine everyone else. Well, now I gotta, now I gotta play the last game and see like exactly how Robert and Abel were talking. <laughs> Cause like, didn't we also get Marco? you again. Alright, so... I don't want to just say, like, tropical music, because that's going to be too upbeat for what's going on right now. But I, got, I should probably play something underneath this. Those cats have nine lives, you know. Oh, but voice acting, though. Mm. Died at least once. Huh, how curious. Just find any... Huh. Interesting. Okay, looks, looks like this game's got a much higher production value. Like, it's also got the funky cursor. I'm pretty sure I failed like all of my quests, if not, maybe not all of them, but like most of them last time. Now I gotta find out what all the other endings were also, just to see like if and like if they were all similar to each other. It's cold down there. <laughs> Jeez, you're getting yourself all worked up. Hmm. You and me both. I want to see Robert in a belt. Oh, oh, <laughs> Just as it was saying. Did they get lines? Hello. Look what we caught! Fresh fish. We be eating lots of fish now. Oh, 
Black has survived. Black Cat is very lucky. Perhaps. Hylene, come across the beach with us. It is very beautiful. Yes. Sun make water shine like silver. I feel like Robert's manner of speaking has regressed since the last game, which I'm not a great fan of. Please? Yeah, sure, let's explore the beach. Still have that exact same meter that they use in every game. Great. Maybe we find your friends. Has anything happened while we gone? <laughs> Just sad and looking at the ocean. Yes. Shipwreck may do that to some. They also updated the UI a lot, like... It's now only as small as it needs to be. Or as large as it needs to be, I guess. It is now smaller, up to a size in which it needs to be. I am very glad you have survived, Hylene. If you had not, I would have much sadness in my heart. I'm so glad I lived. Bro, we went over the gay stuff, like, all last game. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I weren't stranded on a deserted island with only two of my friends after uh, the rest of them possibly drowned or died. What this? What? What is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please, Mary, be alive. It's all right. Do not worry. But what I, who I really want to know is life is the captain. This is a good sign. Trust me. <laughs> yes, this means boat is close. Right, Robert? Or at least the currents are going the same direction. Perhaps. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Rip. I assumed find survivors was like actually find survivors, not evidence of people who may be alive. Well, there's a lot more CGs in this game too. Look here. Tarot cards. <laughs> buried beneath sand. Nice. I see these long ago, but cannot read words. Y you keep. It's not quite how tarot cards work, but um. Just got to memorize like 26. Oh dang, we got animations. Yeah, there's not even any words on them. Wait, that's not tarot cards either. <laughs> that's not even tarot cards. But there's... There's six. There's six virtues. Oh, I, I see. I gotcha. These are interesting. You should keep them. Might be fun later on. Now I need to remember in Ultimo which one of those was missing. Or was like the extra version of something. <laughs> this is a secret tool that may come in so helpful soon. fire hmm 
Yeah, it's also probably not the most comfortable to be sleeping on a beach. Don't be John. Don't be John. Don't be John. <sighs> it was John. Helene, what is the matter? Helene must slow down. That yeah, that's fair. It's probably hard to understand her, even if you're a native speaker. Take a deep breath and tell us what happened. Okay. Mm hmm You sure about this? <laughs> okay, so John's gone feral. I go look. Wait here. Hey, Hylin. Robert is strong man. Big, big friend. Big place, large friend. Would not worry. <laughs> God, Robert's dead. Robert! Robert, can you hear me? This is strange. Hylene, you stay here. Oh no, now Bill's gonna die. Mm. Yeah, I just you all right? I just noticed the music finally cut out like for good. Wake up. Hylene must wake up. Hylene talk in sleep. Since since they got voice acting, I'll I'll just let it be, but You all right? You had bad dream. Wait, that was all part of the dream. <laughs> when did you go to sleep? When did you wake up? Mm, maybe Haldin should lay down again. I mean, it's still night. You should probably just go back to sleep. Fair. <laughs> a gun! No, it's a card. Where is Patience written on there? How can you tell that that's Patience? Ooh. Magic items. Use your imagination. Let's just check what that is. <laughs> Man, that's a very crunchy click noise. Going fishing again. Is awake. Hello, wonderful observation. Good morning. We go fishing today. You must come. I, w I mean, hold the net. It's not that hard. You must come. We will not leave you alone again. Yay. Oh, skip through multiple things, huh? All right. So don't push the enter button. Is what I'm. What I just learned. I really just thought we needed more food. Let us go find fruit. That's not fishing.
Is it a coconut? A beehive? Good. That is coconut. It's just a coconut. Coconut has sweet milk. We use husk too. Yeah, coconuts are versatile as heck. To start fire or as a bowl. Here, I find good berries over there. Don't just be eating stuff. That's how you die. Mm. Ripe berries are very sweet. Overripe is just a little bit sweeter. Then they get a bit mushy though, but so that's that's kind of a personal preference which way you want to go with that. <laughs> nah, you fools. We have eaten too much. Yeah, don't do that, idiot. Let us sit and wait for Robert then. I feel like that's like gathering all those berries, not 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 eating them tired you out. Eileen, wake up. Robert is done fishing. I just completely uh disconnected my headphones, so uh give me a sec. Should be good now. You dropped something. What could it be? Gluttony. Fair enough. I didn't even have to look down to figure that one out. Is Helena right? I mean, the. <laughs> They seem to be retroactively <laughs> foretelling things. I black. Hmm. Those cards seem pretty special, if you ask me. It's a strange coincidence. The card reflects yeah. your actions. Yeah, it's 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 more like judgment than foretelling. wasn't even real life that you were waiting in. Alright, let's see. Anything fancy gonna happen? Sometimes I still remember her voice. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the only thing we'll see of Mary this entire game. Helene, don't underestimate the magic of the tarot cards. It's with these that you can revisit your friends in your dreams. Hmm. Yeah, so it doesn't sound like, uh... Doesn't sound like Hylene can understand the cat. It's just us, the viewers. No, 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 stupid girl. <laughs> it's not just the card, but your heart and your mind. You can help yourself say goodbye to them, and then you can help yourself to get past all this trauma. Oh, so they're just straight up dead, huh? Oh, I mean, they're very interesting looking cards. They make sense, I just, uh... Some of them you definitely wouldn't just know the name of looking at them. And they're, they're not tarot cards. Stop calling them that. <laughs> nice. Perhaps now, in your dreams, ah. you will see how they work. 
they didn't need <laughs> that first per of perhaps is not uh, necessary. Okay. Baby. Memory of the past. Helene. The cat again. Oh, okay. Now she can talk to the cat in her dreams. Don't you recognize it? You grew up here, didn't you? Hmm. I'm assuming we're going to have to make some kind of choice related to either the patience or kindness card. Or the kindness slash envy card. Yes. Because this is a dream, Heidi. Anything is possible in your dreams. I mean, that's fairly... Irene. <laughs> Baby Mary. Yeah, this this doesn't this doesn't really help on the uh, I hope we see our friends again thing, because uh, this is a dream, <laughs> and not uh, dead in real life. I missed you too. Come play with us, Eileen. This looks like a school courtyard, possibly. All right. When do we get a choice? Yeah, but don't let Sister Anna see him. Sister Anna eats biscuits in her classroom. She makes a big fuss. Well, just don't eat them in the classroom, then. Silly goose. <laughs> hmm. Tag, you're it, Eileen. Chase me. Let her finish her biscuit. Okay. It's okay. In dreams, you can't get hurt. <laughs> it it's only dream hurt. It's not real hurt. Just just ignore it. It'll go away. Oh, calm down. It's just a little scratch. All right. Uh... Hello, Marie. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. How you doing, Marcus? <laughs> okay. I'm glad. I'm glad it didn't pan down and then give us another uh, physical description. I picked this for you. Gosh, it's so pretty. Thanks. Whew, that's uh that's uh it's on either the jealousy or the envy. It's very high over there. Oh that's mm, not what I assumed the problem was going to be. Look at what Marcus gave me, Eileen. Yeah, so I'm give it to you, buddy.
We're going to be nice. Um, I don't know. Really? Oh no. Let's hide what it. What should I do? No. Oh, how nice. All right. Just put the flower in. <laughs> it's not going to work, but at least you tried. Treasure map. Oh, nothing. No, you're not ready yet. <laughs> That's ominous. <laughs> to sail to the new world. <laughs> Neither were you, Mary. Hey, you look scared. Come on, it's just a map I drew. It's fun. Class time. Come on, Eileen. Time for a fun class? We're going home. Oh, home. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Now this this is a classic idiot or school. That's the word. And then we wake up and we get hit with that kindness card. I bet. And not stranded on an island with two people I met like a couple weeks ago. They're cool, but yeah. She's her, she's her correct age. Don't you oh. go home? Is that what you sound like, huh? Dang, still, still lingering bit of the. <laughs> With face of kindness. Yay. That's an interesting effect going on and it's not properly layered. Let's just let's just watch it spin for a bit. Is it gonna get anything else happening? No, I'm just gonna oh I think it's getting bigger. It's having a good time. I'm gonna push space, yeah. Well, um What a surprise. I'm assuming there's like, I saw there were more achievements, and some of them were related to the cards. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we must look at the dream map. Oh, boy. Time to go, uh... Where is Hailey? Time to go and do some things of questionable sanity. Wish our main character had a voice. Not really sure. Like, we do see her on like a lot of the ones where you've got unvoiced main characters. Where? On that hill? Yeah, it looks nice. Hylin, you scared me very much. I thought you vanished. Yeah, just like in my dream where you guys vanished. It's payback for my dream that I had. Don't sleep here. Sleep by fire with us. I guess that does also answer a question from uh, last week where <laughs> we're like, how did Laura still have makeup? Oh, hi, Toki. Because uh, Laura wasn't real then. <laughs> uh, it's it's game two of what happened uh, last week, like the at the end after. No, actually, didn't I just play Hylian the entire time? 
No, I played Hylene and then I played Hades. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember what happened. Um, so, uh, if you missed the first half hour, um, we imagined anyone on the island besides uh, Robert and Abel, so <laughs> that's that's how there's no true end... Er, there was no true ending, technically. Um, it's just, uh, no matter what ending you got, um, whoever survived was uh, not real. <laughs> Abele, hill has only one way in. Ah. Hylene's safe there. That doesn't sound like that's how a hill is supposed to work, but okay. It's been half an hour as in I've been streaming for half an hour, or or what? Oh, deep cleaning the apartment. What a nice uh, thing to do. You also get to listen to the game, as it doesn't... It's, got a little bit more music than last time, but it has voice acting this time. For everyone except the main character. Yeah, don't worry about it. I started a smidge late and I also uh, dropped my notification basically as I was starting just because I didn't have access to my computer until like 12 or I guess 11.57. With this spear or with his bare hands? I wish I could spearfish. Helene. Just like in RuneScape. Alright, what's what's a belly want? What you want with Robert? Fishing. <laughs> Beautiful women can be strong, Hylene. Do not lie to me. Last night, I hear Robert call for you. Hylene, Hylene! <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he was sleeping. Why Robert called for you in sleep? I, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking, it's probably a misunderstanding. I don't know what you're thinking, so please tell me what it is. <laughs> don't say the don't say the low hanging joke. Don't say the low hanging joke. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Uh, I feel like reassuring her is the wrong option, and just straight up saying like, "Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think I would date your brother." We don't have a thing. <laughs> you, you could if you just said those magic words. I am not stupid, Hylene, so do not mock me. Eh. What? <laughs> gonna, gonna, what do you mean you're gonna reach into the pocket? Relationship plus. The biscuits are real. <laughs> You save that for me? All this time? <laughs> Magic biscuit. Thank you, Hylene. Okay. Dreams can affect reality. Good to know. <laughs> this is nice of you. I am sorry, Helene, for being angry with you. Alright. What what do you mean stealing Robert? <laughs> I just I need one of my 
romance options to show up. <laughs> All we got are cat, my two friends, and this fire. And my dream food. Yay, I didn't do anything, but it worked. Hopefully it's by the fire, unlike yesterday. Um, Alright, which card do we get today? Okay, still got, got baby uh, Hylian again. It's called Tag Idiot. All right, let's see. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Away. No, Sister Anna always says that we're not allowed to play in the chapel. Yeah, well, Sister Anna can suck an egg. Ah, no ultimatums. Don't but be mean to your friends. Please. God, what's gonna happen? Eileen, it's dark here. Come out. Based on her sprite, yeah, she is crying. What are you doing here? <laughs> Hi there, Sister Anna. Excellent child. You're inside a holy chapel. How dare you scream like a little demon? I wouldn't call that a scream. I, I would call that a squeal at most. And what is this? You ill-mannered child. Do you think it's fun to make a mess like this? I'm feeling like there should be a bit more rage in her voice based on <laughs> what I'm looking at, but... I'll teach you a lesson you will never forget. Yeah, it's it's just a slight disconnect between what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing, but uh they're both reasonable. All right. What children? I'm trying to think what the what card this could be related to at the moment. Pay attention. Even though we have a beautiful, spacious, grassy courtyard where children can play at their will, there are some that prefer to violate holy places. Not You're only bringing that, out the belt. They think it is even more fun to soil those sacred grounds with their filthy feet. Uh... So as an example to the rest of you, this is what happens when you break the rules. Let's see, no, just the uh, what's what's that thing called? Um, not a sap, is it? Hold out your hands. No, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, I kind of did, but come on, don't make me even more angry. All right, here comes the choice. It's a dream. Just don't, just don't, just don't get hurt, idiot. It's up to you. It's only a dream. So why are you afraid? So you're just going to watch Marie feel the wrath of Sister Anna? All capital. One of the seven deadly sins. Hmm. How curious. Okay. Oh, uh, hmm. Tell her to stop or step up and confess. Hmm. Those actually are two reasonable choices. I'll go with the confess. That probably gives me a green card. Hmm? Hylene, what do you want? Your fault. Okay, so far. Huh? Hylene! 
Are you sure, Hylene? <laughs> are you lying to protect your friend, or are you telling the truth to protect your friend? Ah. <laughs> ah, yes, capitalism. Even back in the day. Oh, man, she's going hard, huh? What? <laughs> Ten-year-old baby. Uh, trouncing on the, uh, the nun. This is just the rightful punishment for... There we go, Hylian. End the circle of hate. Hylian! Quest succeeded successfully. <laughs> that would make sense if it were inter-family hate, Toki. <laughs> She's going mad with power. No, I won't. You're full of wrath. Ha I was that full of wrath? I was ending the hate. Alright, so Rit. Alright, well, it looks like I was wrong, huh? But that's a pretty sexy card. I'm, I'm gonna keep that one, anyways. Not like I've saved or anything to be able to choose which card I want. Just like look at the look at that sword. That's sick as heck. Meow indeed. Nice. Quest failed. Only had one shot. Got it. Well, now I lose because I didn't get the map on day two. Good to know. Eileen, come down. The breakfast is ready. <laughs> Trapped on an island because I couldn't get the map. Day two. Messed up one thing. Eileen is sad. Why? Uh, bad dream. Tell me, please, will you? <laughs> I'm lonely, but you've got us. Well, yeah, but that's like none of my friends, and we're trapped here forever, as far as I can tell. You're not alone, Hylene. I still don't know why you miss Otto, your angry uncle. Yes, I understand. I guess just the fact that he was with you and then probably died on the boat. On an boat. Okay, and are we at oh huh? Huh? Look what I found. What did you find? It's the map! Take a look. <laughs> Quest failed successfully. We got we didn't get the map, but we got the map. Why are you so excited? What is that thing? It's a map. It is a guide. What? Like the stars in sky. Not incorrect. A map? Of what? This island. <laughs> I mean, it does make sense that a map would be on an island, like, if someone else had been trapped here before and, like, cartographed it. I'm fairly certain that's the wrong verb for that, but, you know, probably know what I mean. Go where, Hylene? To where the boat is, idiot. Where you want to go? There's a boat on the map. Let's go there. We'll probably get saved. Oh god, what's the follow-up to that? <laughs> you, 
You can just... Yeah, I guess mapping it out would make sense. Uh... I I had the I just had the word cartographer stuck in my head. Yeah, but is it a commonly ac accepted verb? <laughs> there's a there's a difference between me just using a word and uh it being the proper English word at the moment or uh in current era, I probably would probably want to go home. But here isn't a wonderful place. <laughs> here is nice, but I would like to meet at least three more people than exist on this island. It it does make sense that they're having a great time here. <laughs> They were slaves before, and they're like, nice, we get to do whatever the heck we want on this island. We're doing great. We can catch fish. We can sleep. The sand's better than probably whatever we used to sleep in. Oh, I see. Rip. Oh, man. That made them both sad. I can follow it. Tomorrow we go. I mean... I don't know how big this island is, but it doesn't look like it's particularly difficult to follow. Chapter 3 The Path to Freedom Okay Now nah, just circumnavigate the, the, the island it's only way. You can probably go just around the edge Like look at that pot It's either a witch or someone's cooking there <laughs> it Could be a witch cooking there I guess Oh, I assumed it was the opposite, just because you're on the beach, and it looks like the west side is the beach? I lean wrong. Okay, cool. <laughs> you're an idiot and can't read a map. You'll see the coast. No cliff here. Cool. I can read a map better than this main character. Only sand. We are on the Red Cross. We must pass through this jungle here. I see at least three other ways. Like, you have infinite time. It's going to get very easy to get lost in there, and you. There's not much you can use to navigate in the middle of a jungle. It de I guess it depends on how dense the foliage is, but. I guess not completely if they can see the uh, sun. Impossible to pass. <sighs> Need something to cut. I think he wants to say that the forest is too dense. Yeah, and I can't get through it without. Got that one, Abele. We just need to make a machete. We call it machete. It's a big knife. <laughs> Do the English not know what a machete is? <laughs> yes, machete would be needed. I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess if you're a noble in like the 1800s, maybe you don't know what a machete is. You know, you know, 1800s is a very, uh, it's probably quite a bit more recent than where they are. <laughs> Thinking about it for a little bit. Yes, we must prepare fire. Well, you got plenty of plants to do so with. <sighs> oh, me. Good morning, Hailin. God, you wake up so close to my face every day. Except the one day where I slept very far away. Robert went back to the shore to catch fishes. I Man. stay here to gather fruits and wait for him. Don't wander too far from us, please. Can do. Oh. Ooh. 
Look at all. Oh god. <laughs> That's so far away. Oh god. Oh god. I forgot scrolling those things. I was told not to wander off. I will not wander off today, I don't think. Is this... Is this pre or post 1700s? I... I can't... I don't... I don't know my... I don't my, know my English history well enough to... Uh, to gauge when they are. Like, we knew... We knew America was a thing. We were going to America. It was called the New World. When is that? That's maybe early 17s, then? I don't- I, yeah, I just don't know how long <laughs> America was called the New World. Yeah, no, I know 1600s was when, like, stuff was being settled. But, like, how long did England call it the New World, and, like... I, like, I, d I only have a vague understanding of when the time is, because I don't have many clues to go with. Besides, like, they were on a boat, they weren't particularly good with knowing what scurvy was, but th they did know what scurvy was, but they couldn't immediately tell that they all had scurvy by the fact that they hadn't been eating fruits. So th that's probably the best indicator of what time it was, like, when, when was scurvy a well-known issue? <laughs> Yeah, okay, so either, like, early 17, late 16s. So they, it, it might have just actually predated when machetes were well uh, known. <laughs> yeah, berries and fish, berries and fish. You better get some salt, or some literally any other spices. I I like how yesterday we're like, this island's great, and I want to get off the island. And the characters who are saying that has now completely flipped entirely based on food. Go hunting in the jungle. I don't know what would be on the jungle, but maybe there's like some lizards or um, a boar. <laughs> oh no! Well, curative effects of citrus were known, but like, people were still definitely getting scurvy fairly often after that, I think. Like, they didn't. Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, they knew that once they had scurvy, they could fix it just by eating fruit, but, um, it's just, they, they were all getting sick, and it's like, what's this? And and then, like, what, Hylian and Mary were the only ones who were fine, because they, they'd been eating fruit the entire time, and they're like, oh, scurvy, let's get to the fruit. <laughs> Thank you for dropping these facts. Thanks, thanks for fact checking me as we try to narrow down what year this takes place in, purely based on <laughs> how many people died of scurvy and um, people's knowledge of the term machete. <laughs> ah, cool, great. Um. <laughs> Well, I can either go all the way back, or I can die. Actually, hold on. Let me let me let me scroll up a smidge. Let's just let's save before we do anything stupid. Just in case I die. I mean, this isn't um. This isn't what sound of drop fall into poison probably. You 
to <laughs> How did you manage to walk past Robert? <laughs> You're going in a completely different direction. Yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> Okay, so this is this is probably in between 16 <laughs> 1614 and uh 1700s based on these two facts that we have. Quicksand. <laughs> I, I see the character sinking down and I'm like, ah, that's what we're doing, huh? It actually makes sense that there's quicksand here, too. My hand. Oh my god, What? where'd you get that beard? <laughs> To his strong, burly arms. <laughs> You're safe now. All right, now both of our characters have the same relationship. We're we're both at twenty out of I guess a hundred. I mean, oh God! Big me? paragraph. Uh. I mean like if the medical community was like sounds fake and the sailors were like yeah that seems reasonable then what happened seems perfectly on on target for where when that is He'll be quick, sons. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're not familiar with those. Right Dang, then? these sheltered ass English nobles. I want to read that article. It's okay. You're safe now. You stay near us. <laughs> Good. And then we do it again. <laughs> yeah, I just had the, I just had to do all three things it looks like. Damn, he just he just grew a whole ass beard in one day. <laughs> or like in hours. I'm fairly sh certain his sprite from earlier today did not have that beard. Good, but tired. Yes. A net would need. Let's make a cool net. There's bro there's gotta be like hemp or something. I'm fairly certain you can use coconuts to make a net. <laughs> Just <laughs> adding on to my previous statement of coconuts are versatile. The what there's there's a song that details like every use that you have for a coconut. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I think it's just called the coconut song. To be honest, like, what if I just played the coconut song and are like, do they list a net? <laughs> all right, yeah. So I, it looks like I just had to do all those things, huh? All right, how you doing, Black? Oh, ooh. This is not here. Okay, let's save. Okay, so can you pick a card that you've already picked before? First first thing. Let's... Oh, you can! Oh, no. Nope. No, you can't. So let's see. We got Pride, Humility, Sloth, Diligence, Greed, and Charity... Gluttony and Temperance, and Lust, Chastity. Uh, okay, yeah, so definitely before then. Man, we're learning so much about Citrus and Scurvy after an entire game of being like, hey, these guys are getting Scurvy, that's so funny, and and then being like, oh god, they actually did just have Scurvy. Alright, let's, let's hit the Lust card. 
I'll try not to get the horny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, end of sentence. I'll try not to be horny. <laughs> But what if it's Mary? Oh, keep it down. I'm trying to sleep. <sighs> so what? It's just a dream. Isn't it natural to mix reality and fantasy in your dreams? See, what happens in my dreams is I mix fantasy with fantasy. <laughs> I totally had not been thinking about... uh, what, Who was it? It was Talon from League of Legends versus, like, Bugs Bunny. Like, they were fighting each other in my dream last night. And I'm like, when I woke up, I'm like, bro. <laughs> it's not even the same amount of dimensions. But why would you not have owned the cat in the first place? I see. It sounds more like a fake excuse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have have fun, Toki. I, I'm assuming you're still going to be listening, so uh, I'll I'll try to say anything funny that needs to be said that Hylian does or whatever. Um, but yeah, you you clean that apartment. Um, I just just gotta laugh at the <laughs> my father or my my uncle's allergic to cats, so therefore we didn't have any. Mm, sounds fake, but. <laughs> Are you awake, Hylian? Ah, nice, Laura. Oh no, Laura, the lust card. <laughs> oh, my little darling is awake. Good morning. <laughs> Let her be nice to you. What would you like for breakfast? Ah, uh, God, Laura's so good. I I didn't I didn't want to say milk because that would have sounded too horny coming from me. But now that Hylene's asked for it, I can say I agree. I'll be back in a minute. Wow, you got that milk and biscuits fast as heck. And also, I don't think any of those items on that plate are milk or biscuits. <laughs> that looks like um, what like split pea soup? It's not. It's not. It's got cream in it, it looks like, because it's light green, but... And bread. You silly girl. This is what you ask for every morning. Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with keeping the status quo. There's everything wrong with keeping the status quo, Laura. We gotta, we gotta break it. It's nothing. Just some Latin, honey. I studied it when I was younger. It means that some people like things to stay the way they are. Sorry, but I need to go back downstairs. I'm waiting for someone. I'll be back. So enjoy your <laughs> breakfast. Who are you waiting for? Hmm. Bye. Aren't you going to eat? I... I wonder how food... I mean, the last time we had food in our dream, we woke up with actual food, so... I think you should go look. Nah. Just eat your breakfast. You curious to know who it is? Not really. I'm fairly certain Laura is just who, with whoever she... No, you couldn't resist. Stop tempting me, cat. John, you're so kind. <laughs> it's John, but before I ever met him. It's always a pleasure, my dear Laura. Ooh, not the voice I was expecting out of you, John. <laughs> That is much deeper than I was expecting. You know my name isn't John. But John is a cute name. I like it. Not as cute as you smiling. I I feel like there's just two like two accents and one of them never sounds like it should be coming out of an English per like there's two accents in this game and one of them does not sound like it should be coming out of Englishmen <laughs> or cats <laughs> even in my dreams John was a womanizer hmm? what are you talking about cats eating my goddamn breakfast Laura's flirting with him too, isn't she? It's her job. Shut up, Black. Like. 
It's dream breakfast. It's okay. I've been caught. <laughs> Got um. Oh God, she went. She went ape on that. Eileen. <laughs> and she's back in bed. Lori's coming back. What will you tell her now? I ex. <laughs> In a fit of rage, I I destroyed my breakfast because my my crush was horny for my other crush. You're only angry because I deceived you. <laughs> yes, and what happened? Are you all right, Eileen? What happened? What was that noise? Did the bowl not shatter. Yeah, let's go with let's go with the bad dream. Are you sure you aren't hiding anything, are you? <laughs> you were awake and having breakfast and immediately fell asleep and something happened to the bowl in the dream? But you just woke up. Shh. You need to come up with a better excuse than that, Helene. Not even an airhead like Laura would buy that. Don't be mean to Laura. Yes, I promise. But please tell me the truth. <laughs> what? You have nothing to worry about. Your secret is safe with me. Nice. We keep the secret cat. Now, excuse me, sweetie, but I have something I need to do downstairs. I'll be back very soon with a new breakfast for you. Man. Eileen should learn how to make her own breakfast. She's what, like... 14? <laughs> okay, never mind. She can, she can keep having her not-mom make her food. Trying to block out the noise? I don't know. But what exactly do you think they're doing downstairs? Black, shut up. <laughs> How did I get the horny card? <laughs> because I let Laura be horny? Is that bed sheet going to be used for the net by any chance? That'd be nice and convenient. Eileen, I'm worried. Oh, excuse me. Robert went to hunt in the jungle, but he isn't back yet. Man, we lost Robert in the jungle again. The first time it was just a dream, but like... No, don't you see the sun? It must be late morning already. Okay. Oh. Oh no, Robert was stabbed. That was big beast. Boar. Are you okay? Yes, I fought with beast, but got injured. Like a lion, but smaller. Okay, what feline would be in a deserted jungle? Um. First guess would be panther, I guess. I don't know. I'm not familiar with jungle cats. Puma. What is a puma? Maybe. Oh, like black? Okay, maybe a little bit bigger than our household cat. Robert, you have pain in the arm? Let me take a look. Draw the blood. Draw the blood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, conveniently, we already have something to fix this issue. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Now it's Guy. 
please, please make sure when you're dressing the wound, you use the side that the cat was not on. Otherwise, uh, you might be mixing some things you don't want to be mixing. Many thanks, Eileen. I mean, the only thing I can possibly think of being questionable is like if it's a puncture wound versus a stab wound. Hmm. Sorry, no, um, puncture wound versus a, um, like a scratch or, a, I don't want to say slashing, just using, uh, D&D &D terminology, but, um, like, there's not much that a cat can do that would be puncture, that's not, like, that's one singular thing, like, you know, a spear or something, but this sounds like it's, like, a scratching wound, which, you know, claws. Where did you find that? Yes, it was. Thank you again. Alright, let's see. Which card do we use next? <laughs> Dang. Um... Okay, I can't possibly mess up Gluttony versus Temperance, right? Ah, oh, back on the boat. Oh, is it going to be eat fruit or not? <laughs> Wait, it wakes up on the boat. Oh no! Just a dream, huh? Ah, oh, dang it! The cat's still speaking. Speak, of course. When you dream, you can hear me talking. Well, looks like it wasn't all. Looks like the shipwreck wasn't a dream, and it was the. This, that is the dream. Aren't you happy to be reliving this moment? I wish I were reliving the part where, uh... I wasn't shipwrecked. These are some of your final moments with your friends. Have you forgotten? Oh. Where are you going, Hoylane? Oh my god. <laughs> My reaction to Hylian. Hey, it's me, Elias. I've this voice sounds like it's just like more computery. It's more chunched than the other voices. Are you going to the party? Have a drink first. This rum is delicious. Okay, what happened? Look at this. It's chocolate. Ooh, chocolate. I know, the last time I got chocolate from a stranger in a video game, I died. A chocolate tablet. It's a very new confection, but quite delicious. A Dutch friend of mine gave it to me before this voyage. Alright. That's another, uh... <laughs> that's another p reference point for when this is. Yes. It's very high-class flavor. A noble like you would appreciate it. Let me let me write that down. Uh let's see. Dutch Let's see. Uh uh oh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Spanish hot chocolate was around fifteen hundred, so that's not quite right. Uh, in America was 1641. That's not what we want. But let's see. Um, cocoa beans had already been a thing. Ah, Dutch processing. Chocolate produced... Okay, so that's... No, that's way too late. That's 1828. Okay, but it was luxury only rich could enjoy before that. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Hmm. Curious. So, chocolate was already something for rich people, but being associated with Dutch happened in around 1830. 
Well, that, yeah, rum and chocolate doesn't actually sound too bad. Mostly just because chocolate makes everything else better, but... Everyone else? You don't mean those people, do you? Define those people, Elias. Oh, I hope you have no intention of fraternizing with those poor people. Weren't you a nice doctor in the first game? Nobles like us must maintain our distance from beggars like them. Isn't John a noble? In this century, I've heard lots of silly rhetoric. People arguing that all men are equal, and that the rich deserve no more than the poor. But, but which, which century is it? Please tell me. Ah, uh, classic, classic cleaning issues. Not having your stuff to clean because you couldn't go out to go get the things you needed to clean because you didn't want to go out. It's utter nonsense. You can't compare an erudite man such as myself with an unschooled lout like John. It is clear that those of us who are more capable also deserve more comforts. <laughs> ah, man. Whew. Love this uh, hierarchy. Please, Eileen, share your food with us. They're hungry. <laughs> Don't listen to those lowly people, Eileen. But Could they're my friends. Me? I'll give you more chocolate and rum. Oh. All uh, right. As I as I expected, this was a fairly easy option. I think, unless sharing is the gluttony hey, option. Where are you going? Don't. They will rob you, beat you, and leave you tied up in a dark small room. <laughs> Good question. Um, I, f I feel like the rob you, beat you, and leave you tied up in a small <laughs> That's so oddly specific. wonder if that's happened to you before because you're an asshole. And then, and then you, they smile at you right before robbing you, beating you, and tying you up and leaving you in a small dark room. Eileen, that thing looks delicious. I've never seen anything like it. What is it? John sounds like he's like almost Russian. I can't tell what that accent is, but I don't think it's English. Chocolate. Thank you, Eileen. You're a true friend. That's probably the rum. Yay! <laughs> All right, we chose the easy card so we couldn't mess up anymore. <laughs> Let's uh see if we can do good. Chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Eileen, what happened? Is everything all right? Bruh, look what I just found in the middle of a jungle! <laughs> what is it? <laughs> You're not gonna voice that line, huh? Yeah, the, the grammar in this hasn't been the best, but uh, they're trying. How how do you even find a bar of chocolate? Like, how do you explain that you found a bar of chocolate on a deserted island? You found that on the shore? <laughs> sure. All right, how many how many chunks are like is it is it Hershey's? You got you got like 10 blocks to share. No, don't, not 2, 3. I 3. Eat. It is Delicious. Gotta give Robert some chocolate too. Oh, yeah, I guess. I guess. Free points. Look, there is some there. What do you. Well, that's sandy chocolate. May I? <laughs> what 
What on earth is she asking for? The chocolate, you idiot. Oh, it was oh, it was on your feet. Okay, I was going to make that joke. I didn't realize it's just actually what it was. Why? Eileen's feet are clean. I doubt it. <laughs> Alright, Winter Wolves, which writer which writer has got the foot fetish? You've you've had like three too many scenes specifically about feet. Ooh, didn't like that noise. <laughs> Why you laugh? Oh, Robert, you're back. Uh, just you all just need a group hug. All right. So I'm guessing the game, like I get through at least two loops of using every card. Um, let's see, what could give me a net? <laughs> Bro, I got no clue. Let's go with Sloth and Diligence. Who's that idiot with glasses on the card? Alright, where is we? Move, Eileen! Eh. Did I uh, ever meet Jack Are before? You help me or not? Eh. <laughs> Speak. Baby Hylene. What are you talking about, daughter? Eh. <laughs> me, me too, Hylene. Not a very good situation, it seems. If I were you, I would obey him. Yeah, he's got an axe. Talking with your imaginary friends again? No, it's not my imaginary friends, it's my cat. Not much of a better argument, but... Good. Start your work as usual. Did you forget why you come here every day? A little bit. Don't try to fool me with your usual excuses. Start cool, yeah. All the branches and anything else with Tinder. To start a fire. That tracks. I do really like the design of that axe. Like that's a good like that's an actual good woodcutter's axe. That's all you got? Stop whining, little girl. Damn, Jack. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Alright, let's keep going. Let's get them green cards. When I was your age, I was already cutting trees using a smaller axe. Well, you're ripped as hell, so... <laughs> That's no excuse. No, you're a lazy girl. Good. Don't don't do gender discrimination. I can't believe you're already tired. Pretend it's a game or something. Yeah, that definitely. <laughs> Voice line was right. Written right, line was wrong. Try counting the branches as you collect them or something. That's not a particularly fun game, but if you pick up fifty, I'll give you a prize. Ooh, there we go. There, that's good parenting. <laughs> the prize is a knife. Very good. Looks like you've earned your prize. This axe. I don't like his face when he says that. <laughs> eh. Eh. <laughs> he just killed her. <laughs> Diligence award. <laughs> I want to see Black just be like, bro, what? <laughs> you 
Yeah, he split your head open like a coconut. Ah, now this is the substitute for the machete. <laughs> Guys, I found an axe on the shore this time. With them just getting more and more confused with everything we what find <laughs> washing up. Incredible. I mean, how did you find it? I, I made it. You made like a manufactured axe? I've been working on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this item is exactly what we needed, right, Robert? How did you find it? I honestly don't know at this point. That's probably your best answer now. Like, after three days in a row, just getting, like, things you need. But first, we must gather food. Yeah? Passing through forest might take days. You should smoke some fish. Yes, I agree. We will gather food, and when you're ready to go, Hylene, let us know. That's probably once I've gone through all the cards. <laughs> What's wrong? I found this book on the shore a few days ago. I don't want to show you, but it is not fair. You must know. Is it someone's diary? <laughs> of them dying? Your real name is Hylene Kinsey, yes? Is it like Otto's book it talks or about your parents? Sorry, I have read it. Question mark. Uh oh <laughs> Oh god, Jack <laughs> Jack killed her parents, huh? I am sorry. What do you mean? Man, you were on a boat with the person who killed your parents. Oh, that must be really bad. I mean, never knowing what happened to them. And also them dying. That's probably also bad. <laughs> to be honest. But in the book... It seems that man Jack killed your parents? <laughs> yeah, man, imagine that conversation. He was with us. Yep. Who? Jack. Yep. It was the one on the ship with us. Well, now we know why he's such a grouchy dude. Yes, there was a man called Jack, but... I mean, like... That's true, Jack, Jack is a pretty common name. How you know? Just because a man has reformed after however many years doesn't mean he didn't kill your parents. The truth, part one. Oh boy. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right, so we chopping, and we oh, I guess let's just let's just mash the dream button. Alright, Greed and Charity or Pride Humility. Let's go Greed Charity. That one can't be a difficult one to choose the right answer. Oh boy, we got to hear his voice. Like, this this one's got to sound exactly what, <laughs> what he looks like, right? Oh, are you daydreaming? Nope. It's the same person who plays the cat in John. <laughs> what? I told you already. Yeah, uh, Winter Wolves is a small company. They definitely, <laughs> they definitely had one person or like multiple people like who just did multiple characters. I'm bringing you home from school. But first, I need to visit a friend of mine. I need to drop off something. I mean, this is closer than, uh... Jack. 
but yeah, this this doesn't sound like a what's his name? Fire Emblem Oliver, I think. The glorious light mage. Stop asking questions, child. You're too curious. I I had the olive part right. I didn't know if it was like Oliver or something else. Olivine. Liverpool has so many streets, and everyone's poor on all of them. What are you talking about? You can't just give your money to poor people. That, that's not very capitalist of you, Hylian. Don't speak so loudly. <laughs> you kids have so much imagination. A bag full of money. <laughs> Man, his face sucks. Like, good on whoever drew that, but like... What a jank. Now be quiet. If you're already like this at such a young age, I wonder how unruly you'll be by the time you're 18. <laughs> Steals the entire bag. <coughs> Alright. I mean, it's not, it's not even my bag of money. I'm stealing someone else's bag of money to give to poor people. What? No. Ha, idiot. <laughs> Damn you, Alin. Don't worry, this is just dream money. Like it It's not even real money. Oopsies. Ah, uh, it's gonna get the greed. I I got the greed card because it's other people being greedy, isn't it? It's all your fault, Elin. You think saving the world is as simple as that? See what you've done instead. You've only brought them more grief. Trying to do the right thing isn't always the right thing to do. Dang. That money was for you for your studies. And you gave it away. Oopsies. Now Laura will have to be a prostitute again to support you. I support sex work. Rich? I am not rich. I only pretend to be. Do you have any idea how few people are willing to trade with a poor merchant? Ah, <laughs> uh, living above your standards, huh? Especially now that we have Robert and Hibel to feed. <sighs> and now what should I do? <sighs> Maybe I should leave you here in the middle of those beggars. Agreed. I'll never understand why you humans are all so crazy about that thing called money. Me too, Black. Oh, no, you do still get the charity card for causing a riot, but... <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Man, some of these cards is like, Ah, yes, you caused awful things to occur. But you get the good card. Hi, Black. <laughs> but what's in the bag this time? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Let's show it to a bailey. I mean, can you help me? Depends on with what. I mean, they made their own bag, like baskets. That bag is beautiful. Oh no, you found it. It's yours. Nah, it's fine. I got like seven of them. Thank you, Eileen. You are always so kind with me. Yay. <laughs> what? What? You are not humorous, Eileen. Yeah, you were. That was poor taste. Please accept my apologies. Pulls out a second to bag. <laughs> Only 
if you help me. For real this time. You know what else is very f poor taste? The, uh, the berries Hylene's about to pick. All right, the last card. Ah, now we get to say hi to Laura again. Good morning, darling. Yes. <laughs> Laura says hi. Hylene. <sighs> Nice. You know the Duke of Liverpool? He's notorious for his weak spot for women. He's organized a beauty contest. And Laura's gonna win it. It's obviously just a thinly veiled excuse to look at attractive women without getting in trouble with his wife. <laughs> just like just like they still are today. Me? Oh no. I won't be participating. I've been banned after winning too many times. I don't think Otto would be pleased. Besides, I'm past 30, and the Duke wants only young girls. Remember, they're not rich. They only pretend to be rich. I mean, I the Duke, I guess. Because you're going to participate. Ah, uh, didn't think about that at all. <laughs> you must. You're so beautiful. That went a little more yikes than I expected. Listen, Hylene, I am a very proud woman. <laughs> I've noticed. <laughs> I suppose that's no secret. Anyway, what I wanted to say is, if I can't take place in that contest, I would be really proud of my daughter. That's like two steps removed of being your daughter. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. I meant that you're like a daughter to me. I would be delighted if you won the competition. Which card was this? It was Pride, wasn't it? Yeah, but let's be nice to Laura. Of course you can. I'm sure you'll win as well. Oh, thank you. All you have to do is show up. You're not required to sing or dance or anything silly like that. Still making fun of modern day <laughs> beauty pageants. Oh, well, maybe a few hundred or so. You know, all the rich noblemen of the town. They're all interested in looking at cute girls. <sighs> Damn, I wish that weren't just true. <laughs> of course, there will be plenty of women there, too, ready to gossip like they always do. Wonderful. Now, time to get out of bed and get going. Damn, it really was like that back in the 1700s, too, huh? I want you to try on some of my clothes. There was like three issues with that. Hmm, no. Let's try this one. Your body, of course. You have a nice figure, although it's a bit too slim for my taste. Mm hmm You know, I think this outfit looks the best so far. Okay. Your undergarments, of course. They're very sexy. Stop. Ow, my eyeballs. Ah, uh, we just skip forward, huh? Oh god, it's all just it's all just Elias in the back. <laughs> I can't it's there's two Eliases. I I think it's Is that Otto on the right? Maybe Jack. They're just reusing sprites but <laughs> shaded out. Oh no, this is the horny card. <laughs> yeah, it's pride. Dang, you won, huh? Oh, nice. 
<laughs> Bro, sell that shit. Funny how good dreams always seem to end too quickly. Don't you think, Aline? <laughs> what are you gonna What are you gonna do with a gold scepter in, in, um, embedded with gems? Yeah, kind of expected that one. I'm just answering how I think. <laughs> I would not even like which one that's e which one that's easy for me to get uh, a green card versus. Uh, I mean, I've been trying to get green cards, but like that one, I just wanted to be nice to Laura. Yeah, that yeah, that does also. <laughs> that's why she didn't go out in them. Oh God, you just kept the scepter. Sept a pity it has no actual value on a deserted island like this one. Yeah, but it's pretty as hell. I nope. Don't know why you do. Look, I found a stick. <laughs> it's shiny as heck and worth like a bajillion dollars. Uh, say hi to the bit. Oh god. Is she sinking? Oh. Whack. Whack with the stick. No. The oh, fancy stick. Eileen. I... I wonder if this is one of... I, f I feel like she won't die if you chose the other option. I feel like it's just two separate events that happen depending on which... Uh, one you go with. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's fair. But you broke your trinket. It's okay. I found it like three minutes ago, and it's just shiny. It's true, though. It's very by of you. Ebele, I heard you scream. Oh, Robert, Helene saved me from a big snake. I'm sorry. I should not have left you alone. I mean, you you both have been going off to do hunting gathering like every day. That's it's just normal. Yeah, I'm fairly certain Robert can lift pretty much anything on this island. Yep, and now I can only axe. Chapter 4 The River I mean, you can only chop through so many vines and trees per day. Oh, dang. <laughs> Yeah, you're just gonna have to go down, either up or down shore, until you can find a place where you can cross. Keep going. What is it? What is that? Oh. It's a rope bridge. That's actually a wooden bridge. That's pretty nice. Ah, it's rotting. Okay, I couldn't tell from the sea. It is our only way. We will need a rope. Okay. We will make the rope out of a coconut. You have better idea? We can build one with nature. Yeah. No, 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 listen to him. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh. It's interesting that the Bailey doesn't have lines just at the moment. Rope time, rope time. Let's get a coconut, let's husk it, let's form the fibers into rope, cause you can get some dang strong rope. Just weave it and weave it and weave it some more and then once you've weft enough, you'll have rope. What? How can Hylin promise such things? Pro wait, what did I promise? Oh, promise none of us will get hurt. How can Hylin promise such things? I I'll ta I'll I'll tank that, I guess. Hylin, you fish while I build rope? Okay. It is easy. Just go down where river goes into sea. Can you not just cross where river goes Plenty down in? Of fish is there. Like, you should be able to cross there at some point. That's fish number one. Just keep fishing until you got, like... Five. Maybe even nine. <laughs> and then we fish again. And then we fish again. <laughs> And then we fish. <laughs> We're stuck in an endless loop of fishing. <laughs> Alright, let's just see what we got up there. Cool, there's nothing. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I gotta, I gotta like actually save. <laughs> because then I'm gonna fish again. <laughs> If if it's like a random number generator and like eventually I get like a big fish, and then we, <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah, I think I gotta talk to them. Can't you guess? I don't know. I don't have any of the ingredients. Not much else can do here. Yes, I put some herbs into. Yeah, they're spicing it. Thank you, Hylene. It's with fish. I think you call it soup. Yeah, fish soup. That's pretty good. Yes. We should I make some. access to a lot of water now nearby this river. I could do it, but I would need some large metal bowl. New quest added. Get a large metal bowl. Oh, wait. Is, doesn't the map just show a big metal bowl on it? You're good at finding things. Maybe you'll find one down the river near the sea. Alright, I guess I'll go fishing again. <laughs> like, it's right there. That's what we're looking for. But what if we go fishing again instead? <laughs> nice. Okay, but what if I go fishing again? <laughs> this is so dumb. All right, I, uh, I can't fish anymore. <laughs> They're like, like, Bran, you got, you gotta stop fishing. All right, Robert. Hello. It's a rope. Trying to build rope. 
Yeah, the vines aren't the vines aren't quite strong enough to really work with, unless you're getting like a thick ass rope. You're right. We'll try again from beginning. Yeah, I know. That, that's the ending I wanted to get, Toki. <laughs> if only Laura was here. She'd go with her hands. Could teach me. You just gotta braid it. Literally, like, that's just it. Yeah, vines aren't even great either. You gotta use the coconuts. Laura. My adopted mom. Do I braid my hair often? No. I wish I I wish I did. I just A don't have the time to, mostly because B <laughs> my hair tangles so easily. Like I I enjoy braiding my hair. It's just the amount of time it takes for me to get my hair straight or at least like untangled enough to braid it decently. And then the time it takes to braid that on top of that. Like I wish I wish um, I think th that's possible. That's possibly like um, like <laughs> probably the one thing holding me back from uh, multitasking enough. Like, I'm wearing my head. These like these headphones are on my head. Probably like a good seventy percent of my day, <laughs> and that's like most of what keeps me from being able to do stuff with my hair. So like, if I were in a situation in which I didn't need my headphones, like, you know, if I was living by myself, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe proper hair care is the, is the, the motivation I need to, uh, move out, get a job, live on my own, uh, or like a high paying job. It's just so I can do whatever the heck I want with my hair. She was like mother to me. Oh, get a job in Japan. Ooh. <laughs> Toki, if we lived together, would you braid my hair? <laughs> I wish I could see her again. Nice. Only for a moment. Give Robert the tar one of the tarot cards that lets you see Laura. Give Robert the horny card. <laughs> Remember, Toki, now that the world is basically li moved to at least 50% online, like, what if I just got a full online job and was just like, hey, I'm working in, I'm working in, like, Portland, but, like, but, like, actually, I'm in Japan. Wouldn't that be great? Ha <laughs> How does his head reach your chest? He's like twice your size. Sorry. I know you're all you're all sad. No. When can I see you again? Yeah. He lost his mom, he lost his dad, he lost... Oh, look, a river! <laughs> Alright, I gotta... <laughs> Can I just... Ooh, spaghetti? Nice. I just had a, like... Um, we had turkey chili. <laughs> uh, maybe... We just had turkey chili, so I got to actually get uh, spaghetti, and I had like maybe three bowls of spaghetti per <laughs> per dinner that I had, uh, plus chili. And I got some nice, I got some nice remixes. Like I mixed it with just like I just had the chili. I had chili, but with garlic powder. I had chili, but with cayenne pepper. Ah uh, no, <laughs> I used up all my exploration points. All right. Well, I bet we're going to have a longish cutscene for whichever um, whichever card I choose. Let's just see if I get access to all seven of my cards again. 
Oh, well. Oh, oh. How nice. Oh. <laughs> Glad I did that. <laughs> All right. Yep. Oh, uh, uh. I'm missing uh, I'm missing the horny card. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that's where I'll say for tonight. Um, well, that's it for the stream. If you enjoyed it, drop me a follow. I'm fairly certain uh, Toki's the only one who's watching at the moment, but, you know, if, if I remember to upload this to YouTube before it expires, and you like this, follow me on either Twitch or YouTube. Twitch is probably the more consistent place where I won't forget to re-upload. Um, but, you know, I stream twice a week, uh, Fridays, midnight to 2 a.m. EST, that's gonna be the visual novel streams, like what we got going on right now, and then, um, Wednesdays, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., again, EST, let's save that again, just cause, just in case, um, and those are gonna be currently Disgaea 2, and then some other random game from my Steam inventory. And hope you all had fun watching. Thank you all for talking, being around, vibing. Uh, and I will see you all next time. So, goodbye. <laughs>